Hi there, my name is Albert Chavez here. I'm from Sacramento, California. I'm 49 years old. And uh, my story is a little unique. Um, I would be called your average Joe. I, um, probably about two years ago, 18 months ago, I made a decision to change my body, to redirect my life. And part of that was hiring a trainer. So I hired a coach, uh, Jason Salinas from Sacramento. And um, one of the first interviews we had when we talked is, I told him what, what I wanted to look like. I, wanted, I was 238 pounds, body weight, body fat was 27%. And I was drinking a lot, I was, eat, I was just unhealthy. And so I basically told him I want to look like you. And he's shredded, he's a trainer. And one of the first things that he wanted me to do and said was, we need to check your blood work and kind of see how you are with your testosterone level and just kind of where you're at, your, 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 how your blood is. That way when we put together a program for you, it's not just about eating right and exercising, it's really about what your body's doing internally. And so that's how I got introduced to Titan. Um, and it was pretty intimidating, honestly, because all of a sudden I'm having to put stuff on my body that I didn't really know what it was. And that with education, uh, learning about what BCAAs and are, and, and just the different types of good, healthy um, uh, medicines that are out there, um, it, it took me a while to really get confident, but after the first couple of weeks, after working out with Jason, and then a month goes by, uh, I felt a whole lot better. I had a whole lot of energy. Uh, the things that, I, that I'm taking with Titan are the HCG, the CYP, and then the uh, Titan Complete. And, you know, I've had follow-ups, you know, the six-month follow-ups and, and, and the blood work, and what has been really fascinating for me is that each time that I've gone back to the doctor and had the consultation with Titan, um, the, the feedback was, Albert, you're doing great for being 49 years old. Your, your blood levels look great. Your testosterone levels are exactly what you need to be as a man for your age. And so I can tell you, uh, bar none, it has to do with uh, what Titan's, um, not only their staff, but their expertise, but also what they're providing for me for my body. And so I can't say enough about it. The teamwork, the, the, the customer service they have, I just love getting follow-up texts from them. You know, it's probably every 60 days, just like, hey, how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, again, six months go by, hey, your blood work needs to be done. And so, and then when you talk on the phone with them, everybody's super nice. And what I especially like, actually with technology, is the Zoom calls. What they're gonna do is when they, when they set up the blood work with you and you get them done, they actually go over with you on a call. It's like 10 to 15 minutes. And for me, um, because of not only my age, but just technology, I, I just felt like cared for. And so for me, I wanna, I wanna see the doctor, I wanna hear the doctor, I wanna understand more. And so a phone call isn't good enough for me. A personal uh, consultation is what I need as a man. So anyway, I can't say more about Titan. They've been super helpful for me and I just love working with them. And uh, yeah, please reach out to them and, and they're amazing. My name is Nicole Ruiz. I've worked at Time Medical Center for about four years now. So I'm actually the office manager. Um, I started at the front desk, so I have progressed a lot and grown a lot with the company, so I'm really happy. I would say the best part about working at Titan Medical Center is definitely hearing our patients' testimonials and also knowing that we came together as a team to help them feel better, look better, their lives have changed dramatically, so it just makes it easy to come to work every day. My future goals with Titan is definitely continuing to grow because I have grown so much already and definitely trying to run multiple locations. That would be like an amazing goal to have. Um, I love our patients' responses when they are noticing results, they're reaching their goals, um, they're feeling good, you know, it's, they're very happy with their treatments and that's honestly like the best feeling.
What's up guys? John here from Titan and today I want to give you guys some tips of what not to do before you go work out or do strenuous activity. Okay? So everybody always talks about things they should do and what you should do but there's definitely some things that you should not do or that will give you a negative effect on your workout. Let's talk about them. They're very common. I think you guys will all like, you know, like say like, you know what, that's me in some circumstances I guess, right? So the first one is, is not to eat a huge meal before you go and work out. All right. Now it's okay to eat before you go work out, have a protein shake, right? You want your body to have some protein in there, maybe some branched in amino acids, some different things, okay? So it's good to do, but you don't want to just, you know, stuff yourself, just eat as much as possible, you're like, oh, blur it out. If it, one, it's, it's a lot harder. Your body is in a slower metabolism state at that point. The other thing is, is you get tired. Right? That, that's one thing. When we get full, think of holidays. When you just stuff yourself full of these different turkey, ham, chicken, whatever it is, you're going to get full and that's what you're going to feel. You're going to feel full and you're going to feel, you know, set and you want to go get some sleep. So it might make you tired. So this is some, definitely something you want to stay away from. Don't overeat before doing activity or the workouts. Okay? I promise you, you guys will be good. The second thing is don't overdo it on pre-workouts or stimulants. This is a very, very common one. And let me give you an example. Some people get pre-workouts and usually it's one serving size and that serving size of, let's just say caffeine, can be anywhere from 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams per serving. That means per scoop. Now, some of these people take two, three, four scoops. That's way too much as far as caffeine goes. You're overdosing on this caffeine. And caffeine, you know, by legal description, is a drug, okay? It's, it's not a bad drug, but it's something that you don't want to overdose on because it gives you negative side effects. You can get jitters, heart palpitations, nausea, uh, your stomach. So having to go to the bathroom, in, in the gym bathrooms before you go work out uh, is, is not really optimal, I guess, or not really uh, the place you want to be in. Or maybe you're, you do, I don't know. But <laughs> it's definitely a place that I would not like to do. And I used to pre do pre-workouts back in the day. I don't do them anymore. I do Hercules Potion or ECA Stack Plus, and I get no feeling like that. But there are a lot of people out there that still use these different things. So I want you guys to be aware of this. Don't do it. It will mess up your workout. You might not feel good, okay? That's not gonna give you an optimal state to work out the way that you want to to get you the optimal results that you're looking for, all right? Third thing is, don't go home before you go to the gym. Don't get off path. If you have to work, it's totally understandable. We all have to work every day, right? We gotta provide a life, you know, a livelihood. We gotta take care of our families. This is first priority and any means necessary, especially with me. But if you get off track or you, you make an excuse of where you need to go or what you need to do, before that gym time, you have to set it as an appointment, schedule it in, whatever it is, you need to do that. Unless somebody's dying in the hospital, right, or you're hurt pretty bad, you need to go and you need to get it done and then you can get out of there and, and you can go take care of whatever you need to afterwards. So schedule it in, don't have any distractions. And a lot of people, if they do go home, they get real comfortable like, oh, you know, I'll just go tomorrow, right? I've been there, I know exactly how it is. So. Don't do that. I promise you, you'll have a better successful rate of going to the gym, having better activity, okay, and getting yourself better results. So this is just some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years that I want to share with you guys to hopefully help you guys out. So I'm John from Titan. I got a ton of these different videos coming your way to help you guys out. So stay tuned. I'll be back with a lot, lot more. Thanks, guys. What's up guys, it's Big Drew, I'm here at Titan Medical. Great news, we now draw blood in-house. I'm about to get my blood drawn, the doctor is here. So we do blood work here, get your blood work done here. 912 Channel Side Titan Medical. We do everything, baby, let's get it. Hey guys, John here, and we are now officially doing blood draws in-house in Titan Medical Center. 
We're being able to test and collect your blood a lot quicker and more convenient for our patients. So you can come right down here and get your blood drawn. We can get it all going for you and get the results and get back to you a lot quicker so we can help you guys. Big Drew's in the house right now. He's getting his blood drawn. We're gonna test for things, not just as hormones, like free and total testosterone, estradiol levels, progesterone, IGF-1 levels, B12 levels, but we're also gonna test for his liver, his kidneys, his cholesterol, his thyroid, PSA, which is his prostate. We wanna make sure that, that is all in check. We're also gonna do another test, his hemoglobin A1C, which is a three month read of his blood sugar levels. These are essential tests to know what's going on inside your body so you can not only have a better quality of life, but you can perform at your very, very best. And we wanna make it very convenient and very easy. We have our nurse practitioner here drawing the blood so it's above board and who's taking your blood and she's very good at what she does. So if you guys want your blood drawn and you want it done quickly and the most convenient way, you guys can come directly into Titan Medical Center. Now we can still send you to a lab for request if you're not in the area. But if you are, why not come down to our beautiful facility, get your blood drawn, and get the results a lot quicker. What do you think, Drew? It feel great, it was simple, it was easy, it didn't feel any pain, the blood came out real quick, I'm ready to go, I'm excited about the results. Come check us out, 912 Channel Side, we do blood in-house, Titan Medical, and it's Big Drew approved. So make sure you guys are getting your blood checked and you're getting monitored. Give us a call or text, 727-389-3220 to set up your blood draw today. Okay guys, so we're walking back the blood because once you draw the blood, it's gotta get centrifuge and spun down to make sure it does not coagulate. So we have this right in house as well. As you can see, we put it in this nice centrifuge right here. It's gonna spin the blood for about eight minutes and we're gonna be able to get this picked up and all the results back to us, hopefully in 24 to 48 hours. Be able to contact you within three days to make sure we get you all set up and ready to go. It's that easy guys. So car text us today, let us help you out in monitoring and make sure you guys are feeling your best and performing at your very best. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Every week, me and Sharice are bringing you guys these hot topics, tricks, tips, and we'll hopefully help you guys out in your marriage, your relationship, or future relationship, okay? And every week we cover all kinds of different topics. Um, things that hopefully will help you guys out. And we might have went through some of these different things or have incorporated some of these tricks to help our relationship. We got lots of tricks. Or we've definitely learned from other people's relationships as well, right? Yeah, don't and, do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> or, you know, maybe incorporate that. Yeah. There's always good learning experiences out there and every day is a learning experience. True. And if you're in a relationship, Every day is a new day for your relationship, okay? And that relationship can go either positive or negative. So, you know, we always talk about some things that hopefully will make things more positive. But you need to know what to look for if things are negative, right? If you're in a relationship that's a negative relationship or marriage that's possibly not doing as good as it possibly could or just wasn't like it used to be, at that point, you got to look for these different signs and then you're going to have to create some action. So let's talk about some of these different signs, all right? Because there's a good abundance of these things, but there's a couple key ones I think we should focus in on, mm -hmm. right? One, um, sexless, all right? I think that's a, it's a big one, right? We brought this up on plenty of occasions yeah. that you must do your due diligence yeah. and do your job. You gotta do the duties. You gotta do the duties. It's that's just right. like cleaning the dishes and doing laundry. Yeah. You just add it in, you yeah. know? It's just one of those things. Yeah. You got to add it in. Yep. Whether you want to, you don't want to. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's not. Maybe, you know, your kids are outside listening on the door. Oh, jeez. This is fun. Or you're, you know, maybe an in-law's outside listening on the yep. door. Who knows? Yep. But you still got to make it happen. Yep. 
it's very important. I mean, it, 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 it's, it really is like a really, it's, it's a, a connection, part, right? It's a part. It's, it's a, a physical, connection. It's a physical connection. You, you should have the physical connection because believe it or not, you know, the day goes by so fast and you could just boom, just goes the whole day. And you're like, wow, I didn't even get to hug my husband today. Or wow, I didn't even get to kiss you today. I think that happened to us not, not that long ago yeah. where we went the whole day. And then John finally told me, I think it was around like four o'clock and he's like, I didn't get a kiss today. And I usually stop in the morning, no matter how busy I am, because I'm busy. I'm busier than any human being on the yep. planet, okay? Yep. I, I was just, boop, 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 and then, you know, just kind of got in the car and just raced to work, and, you know, it was just one of those things. But he's like, hey, I didn't get a kiss today. Like, what happened? I usually stop at least in the garage, yep. and I'll be like, hey, uh, I love you, and give him a kiss. But that's a little tiny things that count, right? Yep. It Th- means a lot. Yeah. It means a lot. Physical touch is big, you know, sex is is a one part of the relationship it's not everything in the relationship no it's not it never mm, is no. you know that that's why those lustful relationships in the beginning like when you first meet somebody you're very attracted to them you might have sex with them and at that point um it wears off because there's no other substance to that relationship emotional attachment um or anything like that like a mental connection yeah, or something you, you start know? talking to them and there is no common interest yeah and then you're bored and then it just move on time, <laughs> exactly right? but once you you've established that mental connection you guys have been past this you guys are in a relationship obviously it's not just uh, a physical relationship but you have to incorporate that physical touch right in one way or another and that's give me kisses give me hugs and then having that time where you guys are going to be intimate together right and planning that if you have to do it but if you're at the stage where you guys aren't having any alone time or adult time Mm -hmm. and you guys aren't planning this or you guys aren't worrying about it there could be an issue on one side or both right so that's that's something you guys should look for yeah two constant criticism so you don't want to constantly criticize your partner Mm -hmm. right um you're, you're making them feel lower than you. You're criticizing everything they do. Your job sucks. You have this janky career. You're dressing horrible. Uh, you know, like all these different things. Like, you know, you criticize this. You made me this food. It sucks, right? This is this is the worst pizza or steak oh or chicken that I've the, ever had in my throw life. I would the food back You know, you need to type. take some, some, some tips or, 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 <laughs> or critique you know, uh, Mary over there. She can cook me a hell of a steak. Oh, you know? she can, can she? <laughs> okay. Let's see what Mary can do for you. You know, that, that's, you know that, that's another big one, uh, right? And then, you know, and then not spending any time together. And I'm not talking about intimate time. I'm talking about your, like, date time. Like, time where... Hang out time. Yeah, you guys are... Just... Enjoying Hang each out. other's company, right? Yeah. Um, and you guys are there, and you guys are solely focusing on each other, not multitasking when you guys are together, um, like on the phone. It's so hard to do nowadays, too, right? Because you have this device, and it's constantly going off with either a phone call, yep. a text message, yep. an email notification, yep. or one of your little Twitter, you know, medias. TikTok whatever notifications facebook instagram whatever social media platforms are out there one of those little dings go off right put your phone on silent i swear it's not going to kill you and even if you're a business owner it's not going to kill you i don't care who you are how important you are it's not going to kill you even if it's just an hour you'd be surprised how much an hour would do you might find out let's just say in that hour you guys are just having a good time talking about different things you might find out that they're having an issue at work that you guys haven't even talked about because right. you guys have been so busy and just going about your day. Right. You're like, wow, I didn't even know like you had something going on. Or, you know, let's just say they have a health issue going on. You might bring that up in a conversation. I mean, it doesn't have to be a serious conversation, but you guys might stumble upon topics, mm-hmm. good and bad, mm-hmm. that you may not even know that's going on because you guys don't dedicate that time to really communicate, chat, have a good time, enjoy each other, you know, that kind of stuff. Like what goes right along with that? wanting to spend time with your partner yeah. because there's couples out there that we've ran across like man i don't even want to be nowhere near around him like, i have people that have literally real? bought bought a house for their significant other to live in outside of their own house yeah i'm like that's kind of weird right and they're like no it works for us and i'm like okay I mean, whatever works, you guys to live in separate homes, but you know, whatever works is fine with you. I couldn't, I personally couldn't do it. Yeah. So, um, I, I, you know, whatever floats your boat. However, um, do I think that's healthy for the relationship? Probably not. You know, 
I mean, different people have different things that they want to do in the relationship. And it's, you got to make sure that you're spending that time and you're wanting to spend time generally with your partner. Right. And um, if you don't, you might want to just think why. Why? Yeah. Why? Highlight why it. Because, I mean, is maybe it? it's... Oh, they irritate me. Well, you know, they well, really want to be do, your partner. What do they do to irritate you? Can yeah. you guys talk it out? Like, these are things you have to address. They're the, the, guys, there's only so long that you can sweep things under the rug. Right. Because the rug's, like, about this big, right? Or bottle up those emotions. Right, and the bottle's still only this big. Again, yeah. like I said, you, there's only so much that fits under the carpet or in the bottle. And as soon as it gets full, there's no more that can fit, and right. you're eventually going to just get fed up with each other. Right. And if you truly love someone, which it, I think, like, it's hard to find good, true like deep love nowadays because yeah. nobody really allows it to happen right yeah. you, something goes wrong in the relationship and moving on or you know I didn't like this little tiny thing about you moving on you know yeah. nobody ever gives anybody a chance anymore it's yeah. just moving on to the next moving on to the next moving on to the next I know when I was growing up you know it was like weird if your parents were divorced yeah. right like if your parents were divorced people look, looked at you and your parents are not together what's right. wrong with you right. like well, what, well, why, why did, what's your family why, right. they, why are they like that now it's like if your parents are still married, it's weird. Yeah, you're the minority now. You're that the point. minority now. Yeah. It's like... It's, That's the weird thing. Like, your parents are still together? They're still together? Like, they've yeah. been together for... for 15 years? Yeah, 20 God, years, God, that's, so, that's so strange. I had, like, three moms. So, yeah, that's very... You know, it's important to try. Right. Try. You know? Um, the other thing is, is, you know, being faithful, right? That's another big oh, one. Man. A lot of people, they're putting the wayside anymore. It's not really thought about or I guess to the degree that it used to mm -hmm. um, just because people are out there sliding your DMs or <laughs> you're not <laughs> happy DMs. with something that your partner did then you think you're going to go out and do this or it's going to make you happy. Mm. Um, or get even. Yeah, that's yeah, another that's one. That's a you bad know? one. It's that's a like a whole one. episode. It's a bad, yeah, it's definitely that's a bad That's a whole one. episode. We'll definitely talk about we that. We definitely cover one, that sure. one. We definitely need to cover that for sure. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. Yeah, don't get even. Uh, never good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's never any good, okay? No. You, know? well, you always want to have the upper hand, man. All yeah. right? So if you have the upper hand, keep the upper hand just let them make it up to you for sure and let them catch up you know for it, sure it, it'll work out if they want to keep making it up to you to catch up if yeah. once you lose the upper hand your deck of cards is gone yeah, yeah you know there's no there's no flush for you two wrongs don't make a right no never, never does right. never will never has just is what it is right yeah. so you just want to make sure that you're looking at these different and remember things. guys i mean ultimately I, me personally I'm, i mean the whole planet knows I, i'm probably the most jealous woman on the planet i at least i can admit it you know but i am very jealous right so and i've always been jealous john now accepts me for who i am which <laughs> i love him for this right but anyways Cheating can be in so many different forms, right? So it, it, you have to look at it like this because some people might not think something is cheating. So, for instance, I'll use the, the little DM thing as an example. Let's just say you're talking to some girl in your Facebook Messenger or IG Messenger or whatever it might be. Maybe it's not even like an intimate mm -hmm. conversation. It's just like, hey, what you doing? How you, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Like to me, personally, my personal opinion that to me is not necessarily a form of cheating, but good enough to call it cheating, right? Like, you, why are you talking to this person? For what? Mm -hmm. Like, what? You no, know, you're, there's no new friends for you on Facebook or Instagram. Nobody, there's no reason to talk to them, right? right? And then, you know, that's how I feel about it. Some people, and we'll bring it up, they think cheating was watching porn, right? right? Uh, me personally, I don't think that's cheating. I would much yeah. prefer that my husband would go watch porn over going to meet somebody at a hotel room. You know, whatever it is. Maybe mm -hmm. you're, maybe there's something that you're not doing that he catches on there. And that's just the TV. Now, however, there's webcam girls, right? All this other fun stuff. That's cheating. So I guess you guys are going to have to really lay out what's considered okay and mm -hmm. what's not considered mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so that everybody's on the same page and everybody's happy. Yep. Because once you cross the line, then like coming back, is it's hard. There's got to be boundaries that are set up. And when you set those boundaries up, you stay within those boundaries. Now, sometimes people think that they're going to be okay with some boundaries, right? And then the partner goes to those boundaries. And then at that point, you realize, I don't feel okay with this. Wow. Well, then you got to communicate and then you got to at least resolve the issue and say, listen, gotta talk I really wasn't it. okay with this. Like um, I thought I was, but not really. Like going forth, <laughs> like, I don't think that, you know, I want to do this anymore. I don't want you to do this anymore. And at that point, then they got to respect that. And you guys got to kind of draw back that line to where you guys are both. 
happy meet each other you, right? at a halfway point. It's yeah. not always for you or always for him or yeah. whatever it might be. There's got to be a halfway point where yeah. both of you guys are happy, yeah. right? To just be like, it's my way all the time or it's your way all the time. It's yeah. got to be like there's got to be a halfway point. Now, if there's some things when you, when you start battling things, right, and it's not that big of a deal to you, but you just originally thought, like, I don't want to do it like this. But it's not that big of a deal deal with you, and it's a real big deal to your partner. Sometimes you got to give in, right? And you give in to them, and, you know, you let them have their way to a certain extent. As long as you're okay with it, you know, it's not, like, de- devastating of what's going to happen, you know? And then Ruin you your them, life. And you make them real happy. And then at that point, you know, maybe they'll do that for you exactly. and reciprocate down the road. Where, for sure. Where, you know, they might not agree with it, you know, to a certain extent, but it, it's not the end of the world. And then they're like, you know what? Go ahead and do it. If this really makes you happy, I'm, I'm here to support you 110%. Mm-hmm. I think that's what a lot of people, they're missing these days, right? Right. They don't support their partner 110%. Communication. And, and communication draws back to that where you guys are talking about things, you know, amicably and, and, and civilly and, and like, you know, mature adults. Mm-hmm. And you're not, you know, holding grudges or, mm. you know, you're, you're saying one thing, but you really don't. Mean it. it, you know, that's the other thing out there. Yeah, that, that makes no sense because your partner's going off of what you say, and then if he thinks that, or, or she thinks that, you know, all right, cool, they're cool with this, and then you do <laughs> it, and then they're they're mad <laughs> at you and flipping out at you, I'm like, why did you do it? Like, listen, you told me I could do this, I thought it was okay. Like, no, it's not okay, you know, and then and then you're like fighting about it, and at that point, you got to resolve that, so just make sure you guys are are clearly communicating honestly be clear about what you do and do not want don't got to be brutal but just make sure you're clear and to the point and very honest and transparent about these yes. things and then as the partner you're accepting it and you guys are moving forward so these are some different things to look for red flag wise or maybe help you guys out in the future maybe not to do or to do just circumstances of whatever it is what to look for yeah just look for these different things and then that will hopefully help you guys relationship be a successful relationship because that's sure. ultimately what you want. There's going to be highs and lows in every relationship, but you don't want dramatic relationships. You don't want to have to be fighting all the time. Um, you know, just roll with the punches to a certain degree, but make sure you guys are both happy too because that's what it ultimately comes down to you guys being happy and you guys being in a, a strict, committed relationship with each other and not everybody outside. Okay? <laughs> so um, that's Cupid's Corner for this week, guys. I hope you guys like the topics that we're bringing to you guys every Sunday here on ABC 11 a.m. Um, if you guys are interested, DM us different topics you guys would like us to cover or maybe some questions. You guys can always check out our awesome content on Facebook, Instagram. Look up at Type Medical or at Type Medical Center or YouTube with all this great content and more. Just go to YouTube and type in Type Medical Center and you guys will find us, all our great videos and everything we can possibly do for you. So we'll see you guys next week, 11 a.m. on ABC. If not, hit your DVR button. You guys can watch it later or check out YouTube. All right, guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Thanks, guys.